Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the series of Karate API testing tutorial. And today we are going to learn about the very important topic which is the core keyword that are used in karate. Okay? I'm going to show you let me uh, show you like what exactly we are learning. So, we are going to learn about the certain keywords which are very important to learn while we are working with the karate. All right? So, let's get started and learn these core keywords. Uh, those are uh, those will be helpful in creating our API automation in karate. Okay, so let's jump into it in the video All right guys. Awesome uh, Yes, let me make myself like this. Yes, so first of all, uh, I think uh, When we have started our first get call in karate, right as we have discussed, right? We have used most of the things uh, like URL path request response and all the things right so one by one I'm gonna show you uh, like let's do one thing. Let's create the get call again and I'm going to show you like how you can use these parameters or these keywords I mean to say in your project in your karate API testing uh, right so uh, these are important and make sure you have used somewhere in your pro program right so you will be seeing this uh, these kind of keywords will be added and I'm going to show you where you can find more details about them right so uh, yes let's jump into it so this is this is our uh, like last tutorial that we have done let's do one thing let's create a new file and let's call it a get call again okay get call demo dot feature right give me one second yes right uh we're gonna write like this okay so if you haven't uh done the previous days or previous series like we have created a framework we have created basically the folder structure for this right and uh, we have make sure that all the things are running fine right so this is uh the console where we are running and the command generally we use uh, let me make myself yeah a little bit yeah yeah so uh yeah make sure you remove the debug because the feature uh we are using a tag so whenever this tag which which is this debug is available it will run those test cases so right now we are at get combo right so i'm gonna copy the tag here right uh so uh, Visual Studio is our code. So let's write a get call, simple get call, like get get call. So we are going to use a dummy API. So let's do one thing. I'm not going to create anything. Let's use req res dot in. Right there, dummy there, there dummy API is already available. So we can use that. And I'm going to show you like all the keywords one by one. Okay. So let me give me one second. It's loading. All right. <laughs> all right so uh this is the url that we are using so they have already certain kind of uh, crud operation basically get post put patch all these available these are just a dummy apis guide these are not real world apis and uh, in this series we are targeting a real world scenario which is github repo i have shown you right earlier so uh the api that we are using is this one which is basically getting a simple user to details so basically this is a path param okay and we are fetching the details of a user too. Okay, so let's move it here. So we call it feature and let's make it like this. So insert feature and what is the feature name? Get, let's say, get the details of user two, right? Now we need, uh, so now we are going to use certain core keywords okay so first keyword if you have uh, seen background background is nothing but uh, before running any kind of a scenario right so we have a test engine in test engine we have before suite or before before uh, before annotations right so similarly in in this karate we have background which basically run uh, for every kind of a scenario right so this is just uh, we, are, we are just setting the url here right so uh, how you can set the URL uh, since we are learning the core keywords, right? So let's move one by one, right? So first one is URL, right? So if whenever you say URL, it basically sets a base URL for it. Okay, so you can use star and after that you can mention the URL and here in the single quotes, you can mention the URL, right? So you can do, uh, you can add tab also, right? And now you can start your scenario. So scenario is get the details of user two, right you can hit tab also or you can use uh like now you have to write given when then right so given now 
if you see we have a path variable so path basically means uh, this thing right so this is uh, based generally what happens in apis is that there is a base url so this is a base url and the path keeps on changing right it can be dynamic so what we can do is that we can use path in this case so path will be like this slash api slash user slash two rather than the uh, so this is your base url so make sure whenever you are typing uh, giving the url it's a base url so that uh, whenever suppose in next scenario you need it right and you can if you want to change it for user 3 right so this scenario will use user 2 details and next one can use a different uh, path or a url right so that's why base url will remain same i think base url till this is same so you can remove this thing also and add it here okay and you can use slash so that like this okay so now what will happen is that uh, after this call the final url will be only this right I, it will be similar to this similar to this because since uh, this is the base this is the base url that we have added and this is the uh, path that we have added okay so that's uh, what exactly it means by the path keyword okay so we have you covered url uh, so we have covered url we have covered the path Right. So now uh, we have seen. Uh, so there is a work keyword known as request. Right. So let's do one thing. Uh, right now, since it's a get call, we don't need request because we uh, uh, we can send the request also. Right. So for example request. Uh, let's say we are just sending an empty request in this case. Okay. But uh, whenever request is nothing but the payload that we want to send. For example, when we have created a post call, right? So if you have seen persons that we have covered, we have covered it, uh, covered uh, in the future probably or in the previous videos, we have covered the uh, what we call it post call, right? So in the post call, you have seen we are sending a uh, payload, right? Payload like this. So I'm going to show you right now uh, also. So let's do one thing. Let's not use given. Uh, right now uh, this uh, this uh, basically request uh, right now just run this scenario so that and in the next post request we can use the request right so given method again uh, so you need a method keyword right so we are covering one more thing which is the method keyword here so these two r will will come uh, so this will be come in the get call this will be mostly used in the post one so this is post related thing okay so we are skipping that thing right now so we are we're gonna use a post uh, resp uh, response and the method now okay so method we need to mention uh, get right so what http method we have. so it can be get patch right put post anything that you like so just mention get you can uh, make it small also capital also it works very well. then now uh, you can uh, check for the status so status is another keyword so for example you can directly check the status like 200 okay so this we have covered this we have covered so we have we are going to cover this one also this one and so and this one also so our uh, status you can check it for the stpp man stpp status code right so if you see you can go to why my speed is slow low stpp it's not like this guys stpp status code right there is a particular website i think yeah stpp statusassist.com right you can go to this website and you can check out different stpp code so right now we have 200 okay right it basically means that request has succeeded okay so we are checking that thing here now uh, let's let me check if we can use some other variables so we can use headers also cookies also and form fields also but that are more uh, reliable in the post request okay so i'm going to show you in the post request so let's do one thing let's run this scenario and how we are running this scenario is very simple we are using maven clean test uh, and the option of debug right yeah so it's running and if you see here right so we have a successful request and we are getting id is equal to 2 right janet information about the janet and all right and if you see somewhere above there is a right so you can see the summary report here right so this is the url they have given yeah so this is the summary okay so now now let's do one thing let's uh create a second scenario quickly for the so that we can use these uh request 
pair them if possible ke headers cookies right cookies are nothing but it's very similar i'm going to show you right i'm going to show you a demo of request and headers now right so i think i have already done it so i'm going what i'm going to do is that uh, i'll just copy paste a thing and i don't want to type in front of you guys like again and again right so let's make it a scenario again uh, let's call it post or uh, we call it create a person okay so we're going to create a person in this scenario awesome uh, so uh, what we need is that uh, so to make a post request you need to send this payload and the you api is little different i think so it's uh, just a api slash users okay so uh, you need to send to this slash api so i think uh, in this set url we are already setting till api so we just remove this and slash is also there so we need this request uh, so we need to change and i think my internet just not working so it's okay uh this is the payload so what we are doing here is that uh, basically in the request we are sending the payload okay so whenever we are using a core keyword of the request we nothing we are just sending out the payload that we want to set, send with this request so we are basically making a post request right and this will be a 201 i think uh, oh, so it's giving a 200 in this case so we had to change the 200 right and this is the response so response will basically give you the whatever the whatever the response after this let me check if my internet is back or not okay there's a particular issue right now right so it's back so if you see uh, after response it's basically give uh, for create resource so it will give you these details right so it will basically give you an id in this case right so you can check for the id Uh, so basically you can check for the name actually because we are creating a name right so name and uh, name that we have already mentioned here is that we are basically giving a more first in this case right so we can do that like this also so let's run this on only this scenario create one if you want to run only this scenario you can give the tag here okay and let's clear it out and run the mvn command again okay um bn yes right so make sure, let's check uh, create person users request request method post object it should be an object okay so we have a failure and we can check it somewhere okay let's see we can open the of course we can open the report right status is 200 oh, okay Okay, I got, got it. Let me check if I'm we are running the correct correct one or not. Hmm. Expected two hundred. Okay, so two hundred two zero one is coming. Okay, two zero one is coming. why they have meant but they have mentioned it's so it will okay for sorry my, my bad my bad right so it will pass guys so again so let's rerun because post generally basically creates a new resource that's why it's a 201 created right so if you see your stpp it's a, and let's make it 201 right yeah it's a created okay so everything passed and i think we have a report also right everything is passing okay so we have used now uh uh url is done path is done request response method and right so params are nothing but for example uh, you want to get uh params i think you can get it somewhere mm, let me see yes for this one right for this one if you see this is the params that you want to add right so what you can do in this request for example let let's make this request with page is equal to 2 you want the details of page is equal to 2 right so uh let's do one thing let's make let's comment it out and let's run this scenario i'm going to change the you by using param so path is same till path if you say this is users so path is like this and now we need a param so uh, we gonna do and and we gonna type param 
right and let's see if if suppose uh, you don't know the exact how you can use the param in this case so go to documentation and type param right right and you will see this param means how you can good give them so you can give them by using key value pairs okay so this is just key value so we have page page is equal to two in this case so double quotes page is equal to two in this case to two in this case okay like this so let's make it like this also like let's make it all the strings right so it will basically do some wiki some well some key and some value so pa parent you can do that okay i think it's this is not required okay so what we are doing uh let's uh add a assertion also so that uh we we should know that okay this is so we will have a page is equal to two as so we can do like okay so hi here i told you right so response will be there response dot page so we're gonna check if it is two or not right so if it is two it means everything is working fine or will basically match visually also we can do that right so let's run it again i think it is yeah so it's running and yes so we are getting some issues okay that's fine uh, let's let's do one thing let's open the report first right where is this report this reports are very helpful guys so it's saying that in the background so you what is the get so if you you can check uh, when the get method is here right so it's making a request like this and let's see if it is right one or not right so users comma uh, so I think uh, we have some mistakes here. Right? We don't want this slash. We don't want that slash. Okay. So we don't want that slash, guys. And one more thing is that I think it's a. Uh, this is number. Let's check. Right. Yeah. It's a number. It's not a string. Right. So that's why it's also failing. So let's rerun again, and I think we are good to go with the param also. So I think you are able to understand the keyword param now. Right. Yeah, build success in it. Everything works fine. Yeah, cool. So now uh, similarly, you have a cookie also. So cookie is very simple. I think it's uh, similar to the page param that you use. For example, sometimes uh, APIs require you to set a cookie or use a cookie. So cookies again are the nothing but a key value pair. So you can set using uh, key and value. Let me show you like how you can do that. For example, you are going to this and open console. So for example, I am signing in with the username and password, right? And go to your application tab. Let me move myself here. You can see the cookies here, right? So there is a particular cookie which is called as VWO, right? And this contains your authentication token. So if it is set, for example, this is key, this is value. If it is set, you are authenticated. For example, right now, if I delete it, and if you see, I am logged out, right? So that you can basically verify. So uh, how you can do that? It's very simple. Just you can use this setting a queue, setting it as a in the given block, or you can do the configuration also. So configure we'll cover in the future videos, right? So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I think and form field is an again very simple. In the demo, it's already given. It's, it's again same thing. For example, uh, right now I have opened the app.vidlo.com, right? And you want to enter username and password and click on this, right? Form fields. If you want to enter like there are a couple of apis who require form field to set so you just need username and password and just enter these things it is already think form fields can be url encoded that you want to send so certain apis require form field to send it out and i'm going to show you some demos in this case okay so let's i think it's pretty much straightforward in this case okay so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video guys uh let's move on to the other tutorial of karate apis